What's up guys, it's Jalen here with IGC60 and welcome to this week's app of the week. Even though it's not really an app, it's just really an a overview of iOS 6. Um, these are the top three features that I think are worth upgrading to uh, iOS 6 for. Um, so iOS 6 just came out today, it's the 19th of September, so my top three reasons to upgrade to iOS 6. Number three, I'm going to go up. Number three, I think, is the new maps. Um, as you can see, the icon got a new design. Um, and it has a new 3D feature that everybody's uh, heard about and already seen, to be quite honest. Um, so if I just search for downtown Tallahassee, search, um, and I just wanted to give you guys a good example of some of the buildings in a 3D. So let's say I zoomed in here on some of these buildings, and then I hit 3D. Um, these obviously aren't giant buildings, so it's not going to be... Um, you know, great 3D, but you can see the difference um, if I turn off the t or 3D, sorry, you know, you get the normal overhead view, I switch it back to 3D, and there you go. It looks like you're almost in like a helicopter just going down the roads, um, and then you can see the buildings. Um, so that's uh, maps. That's probably the biggest new feature to maps is the 3D mapping. Um, what else is there? The directions, so I'll give you an uh, example of that. So if I go down to directions to here, um, I'll just use my current location, hit route, and there we go. It will give you, you know, the best options or the best uh, routes you can to get you there the quickest. Um, and this is like, obviously the GPS function is nothing new, but um, you can also go into 3D from here. Um, so this is really good for knowing your surroundings while you're following um, the directions. So you can really see like what's around you and just get a better idea um, if you're lost where you are. Now before I move on to the next feature, I will say that Passbook really didn't have a good chance. Um, I really didn't have a good chance to use it yet because it's not working for me and I've, I know it's not just me because I've seen a few other people on Twitter talking about they're not having any luck with Passbook. Um, this is the page I get and then it just says App Store. Um, I'm assuming there's supposed to be more to this. Um, so. I did not enter this um, into my running for the top three features uh, so far of iOS 6. The next feature is panorama mode. Um, that's the next one on the list. I think that this is just an awesome feature that I've been waiting to come to iOS 6 or to iOS um, for a while now. Um, this is one I just took um, and if I move the camera up, it's pretty spot on. I'm sorry if it's, the camera's tilted somewhat, but um. If I move the camera around, it's pretty spot on um, for the most part. Um, and then just going behind these, the wall. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's panorama mode. So I'll give you guys a actual demo of what that's like right now. So this is what it's like. Um, what you want to do is just keep that arrow on the line. Um, just keep it centered as you move around um, your surrounding. And I obviously am not doing that correctly. I keep going off track. I'm doing this through the camera um, that you guys are seeing this through. So that's what it looked like, the one that I just did um, for you guys. I didn't get all around the room, of course, because it's not like completely chained together, but I almost made it there. And the number one new feature on iOS, I think, is Siri. Um, Apple gave her a lot of improvements, um, and she's also coming to the iPad and the iPod Touch, so that is just awesome. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the new improvements. Siri, what movies are playing right now? Checking out movies. I found quite a number of movies. So she brings up this nice list of uh, movies that are currently playing, um, so that's pretty cool. And then she shows you the um, playing times um, in your city, so now playing Tallahassee. Um, and then it also shows you the uh, Rotten Tomato review along with the rating. Siri, what's the current roster of the Boston Celtics? Celtics. This is pretty impressive if you ask me. Um, it shows you the current, or well, I guess what they're going to be using um, in their upcoming season, and it gives you this nice layout. Um, she knew what team I was talking about from the exact sport and league, um, so that's pretty awesome. It also would show you their record if they were playing right now, but season doesn't start until next month. 
Siri, how tall is Kevin Durant? Kevin Durant is six foot nine. Also very impressive. Um, if you remember, Apple demonstrated um, like I think it was LeBron and Kobe, like how who was taller. Um, even though that's kind of a stupid question if you know anything about basketball or the NBA, um, but she pulls up his, his stat card really. Um, it shows you like his average rebounds and um, blocks and whatnot. Um, but uh, yeah, it says he's six foot nine. Gave you a straightforward answer um, along with his stats and his position um, for what team and where he's from and weight. So that I mean, it's just awesome for any sports fan. Siri, what was the score of the last Patriots game? The Patriots lost a close one to the Cardinals last Sunday. The final score was 22-18. Unfortunate, but true. Um, and it brought up, you know, a detailed, well, not too detailed, but an overview of the score. Um, and she once again gave you a straightforward answer. And it's just awesome. They gave some awesome improvements to um, sports fans. Um, if you like sports, I wanted to see sports come to Siri for, well, since Siri came out. And now here it is. And this is just downright amazing. Um, being able to just sit on the couch while you're watching a game and just pick up your phone and ask Siri a question or your iPad now or iPod. Um, and give you a straight answer like what's the score of this game if you want to watch multiple games at one time that's awesome I want to see who's doing what in a game um, it's just great to have Siri on hand so that's it guys those are my top three reasons why I think you should upgrade to iOS 6 like I said passbook wasn't working for me so I'm not too sure how that works right now um, but besides that um, Siri the panorama mode on camera and the maps um, are the probably the best three reasons in my opinion to upgrade to ios 6 so that's going to do it guys follow us on twitter at ig360 um, and you can also follow myself on twitter at kut dispense and on google plus um, all those links are down below um, in the description so you can go check us out on there and follow us um, but that's going to do it guys please subscribe i gotta go answer this tweet and i will see you guys next time peace